Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshine, it's Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello. It is very sunny day. Happy sunny Sunday. I'm happy and excited, but I'm also like, I don't want to be let down. So I'm like, Ugh. I've seen a couple of YouTubers do this video, which I will have linked right down below. Basically, it is thrifting Urban Outfitter dupes. And I was taking a look at UrbanOutfitters.com and taking a look at like their shirts and jackets. And they have a lot of inspiration coming from 90s fashion. And I think that's kind of like to an extent perfect for my style i'm not super into honestly brands so that is going to be something that i will be keeping my eye out that i usually don't keep my eye out for if you are wanting to shop fast fashion i think thrifting obviously is personally one of my favorite ways to do it and i want to show you guys that you can totally find cute stuff that's literally what you could almost get at Urban Outfitters, if not exactly get. I've watched these videos, I've seen what people find, and also for a really great price. I'm at Goodwill today, I'm at the Yorba Linda Goodwill, I've never been to this one. They didn't have like the best rating, um, but there was this one comment that was like, y'all keep giving this Goodwill bad reviews, yet you keep on coming, so I'm like, mm, maybe, maybe it is good and people are just like kind of crazy. So let's go in and see what happens. Okay, honestly, I don't know how I feel about this Goodwill. It's super, super cramped. Found this, and literally, Urban Outfitters has something like this exactly. So I think this. All right, they also don't have any carts, so it's like really hard to film. But I'm gonna go over to the guy section and the t-shirts and kind of see what they have over there because I think I'll have some good luck. I am pretty sure this shirt is actually originally from Urban Outfitters. It's from Junk Food. It's three dollars. It's cool. Ooh, Brandy Melville shirt. Ooh, that's actually really cute. There's this from? We found some Puma. Oh, I totally thought that was a Harley Davidson shirt, but it's not. Okay, I just realized that they actually have cards here. Awesome. The windbreakers are really in, and especially the bright colors. They also even have like a bunch of Target ones here. Ooh, and then we have some Levi's here. I don't know if these will fit. Ooh, I think these are even Tommy Hilfiger. So I definitely judge this place like too much because I'm actually finding some good stuff. <laughs> I'm finding so much Target stuff. Found some ASOS jeans. Well, technically, this is from Levi's, and I can definitely see it on Urban Outfitters, but it's way too short for me. <laughs> okay, these definitely remind me of Urban Outfitters or from this brand, but they have like this really awesome patchwork. I wish they were in my size, but they aren't, but they definitely remind me of like Urban Outfitters. Okay, I don't know if these are gonna fit, but I'm definitely gonna try them on because they definitely give me Urban Outfitter vibes. A little tip when you guys are looking for like overalls, go into the jean section, the dresses, which is, I mean, that seems quite obvious, but that's where I always find overalls. Okay, this skirt is amazing. And then this one, even better. This is definitely a very like Urban Outfitters, like Brandy Melville theme. Okay, I'm not gonna get these because I hate the color, but I did find some Urban Outfitter jeans. How much would they have been? They would have been like $12, high rise. Man, if they were in black, I would totally buy them. Literally amazing. Honestly, I'm shocked how much I found. I found a lot of Target stuff, but I'm now going to try it on. I think I've been here for like an hour or so, so I don't know how I'm gonna try all this one. Okay, I'm so upset about these pants. They are just like too big and I didn't bring my belt, but I think it has like too much excess fabric, but I don't know why, but I found so many jeans. So these are the Levi's and they aren't high-waisted, so they kind of fit weird, but I mean, they're not terrible. These ones I also don't know about. They kind of fit like not high-waisted, but I think if I put a belt on it, it would be better. But even just like with a sweatshirt or something, kind of like poking through. I'm so upset the regular jeans do not fit <sighs> okay so these do not fit but they are camel pants and i have seen camo you know trending around so these ones look like normal just like jeans but they're made with a really soft material and the way that they are like if i were to wear them high waisted i don't know it just reminds me of urban outfitters i don't know 
Again, sorry for all the pants. These are originally from Target. I literally bought them and then I returned them because I was like, no, no new things. And now they're here. Okay, these are the Tommy Hilfiger jeans. They don't fit and they're like low rise. Um, but I'm in full Tommy Hilfiger thrifted. Okay, as much as I like the idea of this, it definitely just isn't very flattering on me, but I think it's still pretty cute. Okay, I literally saw something on her but not that it's just like this and it is fabulous. This is definitely a look, but I have the girl power shirt. With this, I definitely don't like it, but definitely reminds me of like kind of that 90s like Feel. I'm usually not really into these shirts, but this New York City one, I don't know. And then we have the actual Urban Outfitter shirt. This, I don't know how I feel about it, but I just don't know what it means. What a pleasant surprise. I got so much. I know it's plastic. I actually had my reusable bags in my car. I didn't think I was honestly going to stay, but wow. I do not judge a book by its cover. Um, I'm going to head on home and then show you guys literally all my goodies, all inspired by like Urban Outfitter dupes, I guess. I would say this is more like an inspired one. Yeah, okay, I'll see you guys when I get it. All right, I really thought I wasn't going to get anything. Oh my goodness, I honestly could have gone completely ham. And for me, I'm looking at it as more of an inspiration, um, kind of Urban Outfitter dupes. Like these are definitely not exact. And I think a lot of the pants that I tried on, I really want to show you guys that you can totally get at the thrift store, especially all these like Levi's. And um, I know Urban Outfitters has their like renewable, like vintage line where they bump up the prices even more. And you can 100% find it at the thrift store. You may have to like search a little bit, but I found so many Levi's. To be honest, there were a couple after like re-watching my try-on portion. I was like, oh man, I should have bought them. The first thing I got, this is what actually gave me hope in the Goodwill that I was at. It is this, oh my god, it's just so amazing. How do I clean this? Oh my goodness. Faux fur cheetah leopard print jacket thing. Oh, it has a hood. It's amazing. It's originally from Target and actually almost still has the tag. The really cool part about specifically this Goodwill, which actually happened at a Goodwill I went to in Hawaii. And I remember telling you guys like how surprised I was that there was like new stuff from Target. A lot of times when stores have like an excess amount of product, they'll take it down to the local like thrift store. And apparently this one does it too. So there was so much Target things. Ugh. I had definitely seen it in Target before. It's actually funny. I met one of you guys, which was super amazing. Um, she was just so nice and she literally bought one of these for everyone in their family I did get it in a large just because I really wanted it to be oversized. I literally do not own anything like it I don't even know if I can rock this honestly like can I rock this it was $9.99 But I would definitely say at Target it was probably like $20 even $20 to $30 um, And like I said in the video, I saw one of these on Urban Outfitters, very like not exact, but very, very similar. I felt like it was fate and I feel like this is a great kind of like high to start on. How many, oh, I didn't realize how many pants I got, wow. Then I got these pants that, I was trying to look on Urban Outfitters for maybe like exact ones that would be similar. It's kind of hard to show you guys right here. Um, but they are these high-waisted, almost like straight leg jeans. They aren't like a wide leg, but they aren't necessarily like a skinny jean or a mom jean. They're a little bit more of just like a straight leg and they're made with such a comfy fabric. I could definitely wear them with like a crop top or tuck in my shirt the only thing is they do bunch up around like the stomach crotch area so i don't know how i'm going to make that work they were just so comfy to be honest i'm in the car a lot and a lot of my mom jeans i just like hate wearing because you know you're sitting in the car for say for me sometimes one to two hours and my goodness uh it <laughs> they definitely just remind me of that very like chillax feel look i don't know i just had it in my mind and just reminded me of urban outfitters these were also 9.99 which i would say this goodwill is a little bit more expensive very similar to the savers i feel like it's in a nicer ish area we got a, another pair of jeans and these are very inspired by um these jeans i saw in urban outfitters and we're originally from Target, like I said. They are the Wild Fable collection, which also that jacket was too. Um, these were also $9.99. Um, these ones are, I think they called them like skater 
crop jeans when they were at Target. I don't really remember. They are just high-waisted and they kind of have a wide leg right there, but they're kind of cropped. So they just like, if you're wearing sneakers with them, I just think it looks so cool. Once I saw one of them, which they had multiple sizes, I was like, oh my God, they may have my size and they totally did. These are in a size six. I would say that they are a tiny bit oversized, but it's like nothing a belt can't fix. Just love them so much. And they're more of a charcoal, not necessarily like a true, very, very black, more like a washed black. Another pair of black jeans. These ones are by High Sierra, which I have purchased multiple shorts, multiple jeans um, that were this brand. And I think personally, I definitely prefer this brand over like Levi's. And they're just some high-waisted black jeans. But these ones, again, they're more like straight leg. I would say these ones are a little bit kind of like more like a wide leg, but not too wide leg because I'm just like not down with that look too much with also being a mom jean. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> they definitely reminded me to, of like, these jeans that I saw on UrbanOutfitters.com, they are very tight around the waist. It's literally everything that I talked about that I don't like to wear, um, like in the car, it's, it's these jeans. But the difference is they aren't like, <laughs> we're friends, aren't we? They aren't too tight around the crotch where they make like a camel toe. It's a problem. I can get over the tightness around the waist because everywhere else in the jean is a very relaxed kind of oversized look, which actually like, it's kind of like oversized and then like creates, you know, the curve. I think I can, I think I can make them work. Maybe not wear them after I had pasta or something. They do say that they are a size 14. I just really wanted some black mom jeans because I tried dyeing some jeans black. It did not turn out and I was just feeling really sour about it. Surprisingly, the only shirt that I got um, was this one by Concert Tee. Oh, it's a Concert Tee. Wait, what is, does that mean it's for a concert? I don't, I don't know. I just really like the style of this. The actual material is very similar to, I would say Urban Outfitter like t-shirt material. It's very like thin, it's very soft. That's exactly how this feels. And I, I feel like it would be on Urban Outfitters. It's just very like simple pattern. And I like that it says New York City. This was only $2.99, so I mean like, one thing I do have to say, when I've watched these videos, a lot of people focus on like Adidas, Champion, Filo. Personally, I'm just not super into those brands. So I do have to say, I feel like I didn't really focus on those. But if you do have similar style to me, hopefully this showed you that you can get that style at the thrift store instead of Urban Outfitters, you know? If you guys do like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me, make sure that subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. I don't know what that was. What was that? And if you want to keep up to date with me during the week, make sure that you're following me on Instagram and Twitter, Alex and Shine 83. And I hope you guys have a super sunny Sunday. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!